Your guides running is one of the most accessible forms of aerobic exercise, you can do it almost anywhere without needing a gym membership or expensive equipment. But although you can run while wearing just about anything, that doesn't mean you'll have a good time doing it. He spent more than 90 hours researching and testing running gear and enlisted the help of a current collegiate track coach and former podiatrist, a former runner's world editor, and several of the most passionate runners on our staff to help us find the best gear to get you up and running. You'll be hearing from us soon. Gadgets, footwear, clothing, safety, hydration and nutrition recovery, footnotes, headphones. If I wanted a pair of wireless headphones for running, I'd put the Plantronics Backbeat Fit first on my list. While unsealed headphones tend to sound worse than their sealed counterparts due to a lack of bass, they allow you to hear your surroundings so that you can remain safe while running on busy streets. Among the unsealed in-ear Bluetooth headphones we've tested over the past two years, the Backbeat Fit sounded the absolute best. You lose some of the low-end frequencies and the richness that comes with a good deep bass line, but overall the Backbeat Fit doesn't sound in any way objectionable. The headphones also fit well on a wide variety of ears, have a sturdy feel, and come with a neoprene pouch that doubles as a smartphone armband. No other unsealed Bluetooth headphones even come close. If I were seeking a pair of headphones for treadmill use or trail running, and therefore more concerned about sound quality than the ability to hear environmental hazards around me, I'd get the Jaybird X3. We considered hundreds of sports-specific headphones, and our pick succeeded at the most important requirements. They stay put during workouts, sound great, and offer an 8-hour battery life that will get you through more than a week of our day workouts. Should anything go wrong, Jaybird backs this model with a 1-year warranty against sweat damage. You can customize the X3's fit to make the cable hang over or under your ear, though the setup may take several attempts to get perfect. The proprietary charger eliminates the standard micro USB port, which could be vulnerable to sweat leaking into an open charge door. We put the X3 through the paces of our rigorous testing, and they emerged with flying colors. If you aren't worried about getting tangled up in your cord while running, our latest pick for the best wired exercise headphones is Sennheiser's OCX 686 GE Sports. The OCX 686G Sports survived all the tests to which we subjected our original pick and fared just as well. Plus, this pair comes with an impressive two-year warranty when you purchase it from an authorized Sennheiser dealer. For other situations and budgets, take a look at our full guides to wired and wireless exercise headphones and running headphones. Lauren Dragon's smartphone armband as phones grow bigger, running with one strap to your arm becomes less pleasant. But after researching for 30 hours and actively testing 26 armbands and waist packs, we think that the tune band for iPhone 7 and 8 and tune band for iPhone 7 Plus and 8 Plus are the best and most comfortable accessories for running with your phone on your arm. Our previous picks for the iPhone 6 and 6s, iPhone 6 Plus and 6s Plus, and iPhone 5 and 5s were all tune band models as well. You can check out our full guide to armbands if you want to learn more about these older models. While most bands take a one strap fits most approach, the tune band comes with both large and small bands, providing a secure and comfortable fit on a wide variety of arm sizes. What's more, the tune band's design keeps the bulk of the phone's body from directly contacting your skin, and its open front, silicone skin provides a secure fit for your phone while allowing for direct access to the handset's screen and buttons, although this design means that you can't use another case with it. 
Jim McDonald waist belt pack for phone and keys if you want to free up your arms and not feel like one side of your body is heavier or bulkier because you have a big phone strap to your arm, we recommend the AquaQuest Kona pouch. This spacious, water-resistant pouch felt comfortable during our runs and has room for a phone, keys, and ID, with some to spare. Next to top contenders like the popular speed belt, the Kona pouch offers a more water-resistant zipper design, and unlike the otherwise excellent Nathan Phantom Pock, it's big enough to accommodate phones of all sizes. The AquaQuest's large pocket is constructed with water-resistant fabric and zippers to help keep sweat and moisture out. If you want to carry more than just a phone and keys, check out the Ultimate Direction Jerk Essential. In addition to a water-resistant phone pouch, it has a front pocket that's perfect for keys and an ID, as well as additional rear pockets that you can fill with energy gels for longer runs. You can read more about why we like both of these picks in our review of the best iPhone running bands. JM Fitness Tracker We conducted research, surveyed readers, interviewed industry and exercise physiology experts, walked, ran, and ran some more, slept, grocery shopped, jumping jacked, swung kettlebells, analyzed user experience, and got many a curious look from passers-by. After more than 150 hours of all that activity, we determined that the Garmin Vivo Sport is the best fitness tracker for most people. The Vivo Sport checks off nearly all of the boxes, it tracks steps and stairs climbed, distance traveled, calories burned, and sleep statistics. It has a relatively long battery life, up to 7 days without GPS, and full waterproofing for wearing while you shower or swim. Vivo Sport is also by far the most reliable in terms of its automatic activity tracking, which Garmin calls Move IQ. You can set the running auto detection to begin after as little as one minute of activity, Fitbit and Samsung record from, at shortest, 10 minutes, and I was amazed not only at how accurately it triggered on a run and automatically paused at any stop but also that it was able to find a GPS signal and record a map of where I jogged without me manually selecting a timed run activity. Vivo Sport also automatically detects continuous walking, starting at 5 minutes, with GPS. A new feature of the Vivo Sport is a stress tracking gauge, which uses heart rate variability, HRV, the time interval between heartbeats, which when erratic has been correlated to stress, to ascribe a current stress level and a weekly record. Check out our full review of fitness trackers for more information on the Vivo Sport, as well as some alternative picks for other uses. Amy Roberts Sports Bra A correctly fitting sports bra can significantly reduce breast discomfort during high impact exercise. After more than 33 hours of research and testing, talking to six experts over two years, comparing hundreds of bras, and evaluating feedback from a total of 16 testers, we know that there is no one-size-fits-all sports bra. We recommend the Brooks Sure Shot for A, B Cup, the Champion Spot Comfort for C, D Cup and the Brooks Juno for D, D Cup. For DD wearers, we like the Brooks Juno. The Juno's straps are the bra's highlight, they use Velcro, and you can adjust them from the front while still wearing the bra, making this bra the easiest to customize out of any we tested. The super smooth, breathable material and seamless inner lining make this bra one of the most comfortable we looked at, with firm straps and band, it offers ample support without underwire or excess hardware that digs into skin. The Juno's front adjusting, Velcro straps let you tweak fit even while working out. Our 32D, DD tester wears a 32D. For C, D cup sizes, we recommend the Champion Spot Comfort. The Spot Comfort has cup definition to prevent the Udaboob look, and ample side and front coverage still keep larger breasts secure while running. With padded, adjustable, vertical straps and a back clasp, the Spot Comfort is easy to put on and take off compared with the traditional pull-on racer back.
the spot comfort restricted breast movement more effectively while still achieving the same second skin feeling of lighter weight, less constructed bras. Our 34D tester wears a size 34D. The best bra for people with an B cup size is the Brooks Sure Shot. This racer back bra has stronger fabric than the rest of the compression bras we looked at, which means the bra won't stretch out so much that it stops controlling bounce. The Sure Shot stood out from the other compression bras we looked at because it had all the desirable features we wanted, lined seams to prevent rubbing, a high neckline and high side panels for added coverage, and an inner lining to transport moisture away from the body. It's a step up in price from cheaper brands, but comes with Brooks's 90-day return policy, even for a bra you've sweated in, so you can take it for a run to make sure it fits correctly. The Brooks Sure Shot is sturdier than the average pull-on racer back to provide better stretch and recovery, our 34B tester wears a size M. The NL Sport Bra is a great option for people with larger cup sizes who want maximum coverage, support, and even relief from back pain. It's expensive, and the high neckline and corset-like design may feel too intense for some. But the NL is the best bra of any we tested for reducing bounce. With a 4.3 star rating, out of 5, across over 1,400 reviews, the NL is a beloved bra among people who want extra reinforcement for high-impact exercise. Full coverage bras will come high on the neck and sides to reduce breast movement. The NL, shown, offers great coverage and support for larger cups, although it may be overkill for some people. For testers of all cup sizes, if the main picks don't work or are unavailable, we recommend the Nike Rival. Though it was not anyone's favorite bra, it was a strong runner-up across all sizes in comfort and fit, and the best-liked bra with individual encapsulating cups. We noticed it runs a bit large, so if you choose this bra we suggest trying a few sizes. We chose to divide categories based on cup sizes, the best bras for people with DD cups, C, D cups, and B cups. This isn't to say that someone with a B cup size doesn't want the support or enhancement of an underwire sports bra, or that someone with DD cups won't feel comfortable in a basic compression bra. Your choice will come down to personal preference, but after two years of research and testing, we think this is the best way to break down these categories to provide the most support and comfort to as many people as possible. Our whole guide outlines the pros and cons of many worthy bras. Hopefully, with its guidance, you'll find a bra that works for you. Anna Perling running gloves as the temperatures begin to fall, you can best keep your hands warm and dry with liner gloves. They make great standalone running gloves because they're cozy enough to take the bite off a chilly morning while you warm up but not so thick that they get hot as your heart gets pumping. If temps get really cold, you can always add a shell or a mitten. We like merino liners because all of the natural sweat wicking, odor resisting characteristics that make the material great for socks apply to gloves as well. After having 10 collegiate track runners, both men and women, test 5 pairs of merino liner gloves, we recommend smart wool liner gloves, which offer the best combination of durability, touch screen sensitivity on the thumb and index finger, and warmth. In our tests, outdoor research biosensor liners also work great with touch screens but lacked the durability of the smart wool gloves. And the more expensive, softer gloves from Icebreaker and Arcturix provided just as much warmth but limited touch screen compatibility. The tips of the smart wool gloves have integrated capacitive material for superior touch screen compatibility. Photo, Jim McDonald While the smart wool gloves are more durable than cheaper knit gloves, they are still knit gloves, so they're prone to snags. Activities other than running will cause them to wear out more quickly. They also tend to stick and snag on Velcro. 
In our tests, while the smart wool pair was softer and less itchy than the outdoor research pair, a couple of testers found the smart wool design to be a little itchy compared with the finer, $40 range gloves. So if your skin is sensitive to wool, these gloves may not be for you. If interacting with a phone on the run isn't important to you, or if you prefer a softer wool glove, a pair of Arcturix Gothic gloves is a good option. These gloves, made with a less coarse merino wool fabric, as opposed to a knit material, have a softer, less itchy feel than our main pick. In fact, a couple of our testers were surprised to find out that a glove this soft could really be wool. The material is nice but unfortunately its touchscreen ability can't compete with that of gloves costing $30 less. Instead of surrounding the entire tip of the thumb and forefinger with conductive material, Arcturix sews just two little spots onto the pad of each of those digits. Both tapping and pinching to zoom are extremely frustrating. As one tester put it, they feel great but are pretty much useless if I want to use my phone. We also tested Ibex outdoor clothing liners but they were even worse in this regard. The thinner and softer Arcturix gloves are comfy, but their touchscreen material is ineffective. Photo, Jim McDonald Although in our tests the Icebreaker Quantum gloves were slightly better for touchscreen use, we found that the capacitive material on the thumb and index fingers was stiffer than the glove material, we almost had to fight against the glove to maintain a clenched fist. This design isn't that annoying if you're just walking around, but a bit of irritation each time your hand moves adds up to a lot of irritation over the course of a run. If you need to interact with a touchscreen, stick with the smart wool gloves. JM Your Warmers, hat the right winter running gear, can help you stay warm, comfortable, and motivated to get outside. A running beanie will help to protect your head and ears from the elements. After 13 hours of researching hats and testing four finalists with a group of university distance runners, we can say that our favorite is the North Face's Red Point Wool Beanie. Our previous top pick, the Ibex Woolies 2 Ear Flap Beanie, which is now unavailable, had a contoured bottom edge that acted as a pair of minimally intrusive ear flaps. This design allows you to protect your ears from the elements without needing to pull the beanie down over your eyes. Although the North Face's Red Point Wool Beanie is designed as and provide a clear view when pulled all the way down, we like this beanie because the material still allows you to fold it above your eyes if necessary. It also fits well on a variety of head shapes and sizes. Our previous top pick, Ibex's beanie, left, and the North Face's beanie, right. Photo, Jim McDonald If you want a lightweight running beanie or one to wear in moderate to cool weather, no colder than mid-40s Fahrenheit, the Icebreaker Chase beanie is a good option. Constructed with a lighter grade 97% merino fabric, the Chase beanie features the traditional beanie design. In our testing, the Chase Beanie provided better ear coverage than the Smart Wool PhD Training Beanie. As long as you keep in mind the conditions the Chase Beanie is built for, it will provide sufficient protection. If you overheat under a beanie, or if you have longer hair that you can't tuck into a beanie, a headband is another option for winter runs. Our pick the Smart Wool PhD Hi-Fi Training Headband, features a windproof polyester exterior combined with a merino interior. This design gives it all the comfort of merino and makes it more protective against the elements compared with the wool-only Icebreaker Quantum Headband. And like the Ibex Beanie, the Smart Wool Headband has a contoured edge that provided ample ear coverage to all the runners who tried it in our tests. JM Running Tights runners we spoke to, including several professionals, told us that you shouldn't have to spend more than $100 on a new pair of tights that feel warm, fit well, and still have important features like pockets and ankle cuffs. 
The North Face men's winter warm tights met all those criteria. Our testers gave this pair the highest scores for warmth, comfort, and fit by a long shot. Typically they're a bit pricey, but the dependable nylon, polyester blend, plus the brush tricot interior, should help ensure that they last for several years without absorbing odor or ripping. The heights feature a single pocket for holding running gels, keys, or credit cards, not a whole lot of space, but certainly sufficient. For women's running tights, the clear winner was the Sugoi Women's Mid-Zero Tight. Our tests gave this pair the edge in warmth, the most important factor. Ultimately, we preferred the Sugoi pair for its slightly lower price tag, it's often about $10 cheaper than the women's winter warm tights, our testers also preferred the style and shape of the Sugoi tights on their legs. Runner ID tags when you're heading out for a run, a medical emergency or a trip to the hospital is the last thing that comes to mind. But accidents and medical events can happen without warning. Without access to your ID and health information, first responders and emergency medical staff won't be able to adjust treatment to your specific needs. Running with a driver's license or some other government-issued ID is not enough, as such cards provide no information about your past medical or surgical history, medical conditions, medications, allergies, or emergency contacts. A dedicated identification band can take care of that. After 10 hours of research, including interviews with first responders and her doctors, we recommend the Road ID Wrist ID Sport Safety ID Band. This adjustable identification band displays personal and health information on a replaceable stainless steel tag that you wear right where first responders are most likely to notice it. Unlike the Myad Sport bracelet, which requires the use of a QR code or vital ID, which tucks handwritten information away behind Velcro, the Road ID Wrist ID Sport makes your information immediately available, engraved on the band in legible text, no fuss required. In our tests, runners also liked the comfort, fit, and low-profile design. When our testers wore the Wrist ID Sport in conjunction with some other running gear for this guide, a couple of them completely forgot that they had it on. We are always going to check pulses, so an ID band placed on the wrist is hard to miss. Doctor John Sillery, Highlands Medical Center The Wrist ID Sport's location on the wrist is of utmost importance. While the prospect of a shoelace-mounted ID sounds convenient, a bracelet will be more visible, according to Dr. John Sillery, Assistant Medical Director of the Emergency Department at Highlands Medical Center. We quickly remove shoes in emergency situations and may miss an ID band in that location, explained Sillery. We are always going to check pulses, so an ID band placed on the wrist is hard to miss. If you run with a GPS watch or a fitness tracker, consider the one banded, which is an adjustable neoprene and velcro sleeve that attaches to the band of a watch or tracker. Like the Rode ID Wrist ID Sport, the one banded features a replaceable stainless steel ID tag. While the one banded does add a bit of bulk, runners with a watch or a tracker may prefer using this accessory instead of wearing a wristband style ID band. I am reflective wear as a former editor at Runner's World and an experienced outdoor gear and fitness gear tester with more than a decade of experience, I take running gear and safety seriously. So does James Gallagher, who works at the University of North Carolina Highway Safety Research Center. In an interview, Gallagher offered a number of recommendations for runners looking for nighttime safety gear. Your priorities should be to accentuate moving body parts, namely your feet, ankles, and wrists. Light up your lower legs, since most car headlights are angled downward, and maximize the amount of reflective material you wear to create more opportunities to catch a driver's attention. 
Our product testing, conducted on roads that were both pitch black and dimly lit backed up that general advice and offered more nuance. In particular, we found that nothing attracted more attention than reflective materials around the feet and ankles. We also discovered that products with large amounts of reflective area outperformed the competition, and that items designed for use in variable weather conditions or without daily washing are more versatile. After extensive testing by a crew of three runners and an automobile driver on two dark stretches of pavement, we found that the single most useful piece of reflective running gear is Road ID's High Visibility Reflective Ankle Band. In our tests, this band was extremely reflective from all angles, well constructed, and comfortable to wear. It proved to be more useful and versatile in a variety of conditions compared with many of the other reflective gear options we tested, and the pricing is great too. You can wear ankle bands every day, regardless of the weather conditions, and they don't require frequent washing. Most important, in field testing nothing caught our test driver's attention faster than a reflective ankle band, even vests with larger amounts of reflective material weren't as eye-catching, because they didn't move around as much. Made with 3M scotch light material, which radiated a bright white when hit with light, this band outperformed other anklets such as the Nathan Tricolor Reflective Ankle Band. Nathan model glowed in three colors as promised, but the overall effect was not as visible as what the solid white reflective material on the Road ID band produced. We also like that the Road ID model is usually a few bucks cheaper per band than the Nathan model. Although you can get away with just a set of ankle bands and be quite visible, our experts agreed that adding more reflective material on your torso or hands is a smart choice. The more reflectivity you have, the better, said James Gallagher. The point is to be more visible to motorists. Specifically, we like reflective vests because they're visible from all angles and light enough that you can wear them over any non-reflective clothing you already own. And unlike any other single layer, like a reflective shirt or jacket, it doesn't require frequent washing since it doesn't come in direct contact with your skin. After testing three top contenders, we like the Amphipod Shinglet the most because it's more visible and adjustable than the rest. Amphipod claims that the Shinglet has up to 40% more reflective area than most standard running vests, and although precisely confirming that claim was impossible, we could clearly see that the Shinglet had more reflective area than the Nathan Streak and Zavallo 3M Scotch Light vests. Its minimalist construction provided excellent ease of movement and didn't get too sweaty on a hard run. Our testers, which included a 6'2 man and a 5'4 woman, found the vest simple to adjust for different height and waist sizes. The front latch is intuitive and quick to use, and unlike the Velcro used in the Nathan Streak, it won't risk damaging clothes or accessories it comes in contact with. With a reflective anklet or vest, you're probably sufficiently protected, but you can't really overdo it if you're concerned about being visible to motorists. So if you need specialized running apparel, choosing items with reflectivity features offers some obvious added benefits. With that in mind, we also tested reflective running gear in numerous categories, including hats, jackets, shirts, tights, socks, and laces. Generally speaking, shirts and jackets constructed with reflective materials, usually on the seams or in the form of reflective accents, did not catch our test driver's eye as much as products that had reflective zones that were larger, positioned low on the body, or worn on moving extremities. In addition, many of the products were less versatile pieces useful only in certain weather conditions, or items.